Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X-A2 and Sony A6000. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X-A2 and the Sony A6000 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 14th of January 2015 and the 23rd of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-A2. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-A2 and the Sony A6000. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-A2. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6000. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-A2. I recently purchased a Fuji camera with a 16-55mm to 55 millimeters Fujinon lens and I am very impressed with the quality of both. Fuji always delivers top-notch cameras and lenses. This is definitely one of the best cameras in the $600 price point. It's lightweight and portable, the image quality is great, and general performance is honestly better than I had expected. The only main problems I've found is the lack of a viewfinder, and that the main body of both camera and lens are made of plastic. It takes a little while to get used to the feeling of holding such a small camera, but the compactness makes it light and easy to carry in a purse. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6000. I have been using the Sony A6000 after switching from a Canon DSLR, and I am confident I can replicate my shots with the Sony, if not better. The main reason for my switch was the size of the camera, and I have found several features that I love, such as Wi-Fi connection, face detection, fast focus and inconspicuousness. However, the battery life is not as I absolutely love the compact size and grip of this camera, and the silver and black color looks great. However, I'm disappointed by the lack of a silent shutter mode and a dedicated mic input. The limited options for MP4 video format are also a drawback. Overall, I highly recommend this camera despite these shortcomings. I give it 8 out of 10. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X-A2. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Sony A6000. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.